Okay. What is up? Today I have a really, I don't want to say interesting conversation, but some things on my mind again. We go right out and say it. You do not owe anyone an explanation about anything. And I know that there's certain circumstances where yes, you should explain yourself how you're feeling. Let me preface it this way. You do not owe anyone an explanation about anything when it comes to someone who hasn't been in your life for years, someone who you no longer associate with, you no longer talk to, you cut ties to, you cut the cord, you peeled, you did all the things, that you never saw a point in bringing them back into your life, you never saw that you needed to have a conversation. This goes into protecting your peace, protecting your energy. You do not need to go out of your way to explain yourself to these people. There's a reason why they're in the past. There's a reason why they didn't make it to your future. You don't owe them an explanation for why. And if they ask you, know that you do not have to sit there and explain yourself. There comes a point where you're going to, well maybe you're not, but for me personally, I've gotten to this point where I'm no longer hiding, hindering, being scared of the fact that I, I know things without a clear explanation, that I know things where I just don't know how to put them into words. It's called claircognizant, look it up. I'm still learning how to better understand that and how to use that gift and there's also one that goes with it called Claire I might push through this Claire Audescent or Claire Audescence and yes this is around psychic abilities I'm not gonna sit here and say like oh my gosh yeah it's like psychic abilities I don't know I'm, I'm learning about it I've known for a while a lot of the times when I have these things that I couldn't explain, things that I felt, maybe saw or heard or just something that I just couldn't explain in like human terms. And yeah, I'd get kind of scared about it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell anyone. I would try to figure it out on my own and just kind of like push it away. Like, no, there's no way I can know this. And this last, towards like the end of last year, 2020, into this year, I've kind of just been learning to understand that this is some type of gift. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. But I need to go and figure it out because there's some reason why I'm able to know this and understand and understand this. So that goes into me saying, like, you don't owe anyone an explanation, especially if you're someone like me that has that that feeling, that knowing, you don't know how to explain it in words. And I truly, I, I, I don't. I really, really do not know how to put this into human words, except for the fact that energy and vibrations. I'm very aware. If I have this weird, off-putting energy or vibration that I'm getting, being in the room in the space with you, there's a good chance that I'm not going to try to interact with you in that way. Yes, I'll be cordial and like nice type of thing, but in a sense that's me protecting my peace, protecting my energy. I'm not going to put out more effort into tapping into the energy that is not just for me, but for, for my people, the people that I connect with. When you get to that place where you feel something and someone might ask you why, what you can do. 
again, yes, protect your peace, but how do you protect your peace? First, breathe. Please don't, please don't, like, blah, 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 react. Breathe. Listen. Say what's on your mind, but also be aware of the space that you're in. Be truthful. But make sure you are able to read the room and know how best to communicate with the person, the people, whomever. Again, protecting your peace also has to do with being outside of that specific scenario. You have to practice this in your daily life every single day. And that's something that I've been doing as well. And how do I do that? Well, one, I have a morning routine where I get up in the morning, I eat, and then I go right into a gratitude journal. Within that gratitude journal, I also talk about things that I will let go for the day. And one thing that I will do that will help me move my online business forward. So, for example, I said, I am grateful for the strengthening and the growth within my relationship with my mom. That's because I had a really good conversation with her on FaceTime, and I also had my dad in there too, my mom and my dad. Then the next one is, you ask yourself, what is one thing that you will let go of today? Which is like in your mind, in your soul, something along that realm. And I said, I will let go of any of the icky, yucky, negative, toxic, tension, stagnant energy from this morning that I am coming on here talking to you about, not feeling like you owe anyone an explanation to how you feel. Thirdly, asking yourself, what is one thing that you will do to put your business forward or if you don't have a business, what is one thing that you will do to put your craft forward? So something like, are you a dancer? Are you a musician? Are you an artist? Are, are you someone who plays sports? Something in that realm. What is one thing that you will do in a day that will put your business, your art, your craft one step forward? For me, this is creating this video because I told myself that I keep saying that I want to do more of a vlog, video, podcast, because I love to talk and just kind of share different things that I'm working through that might help you. That's my first thing in the day that I do to protect my peace. Then I go into a breath work technique that I learned from Gabby Bernstein. Oh, sidebar. I learned that three little gratitude and what will I do to better my day from Trent Shelton. And I kept that going because that really has helped me to start my day in a better way than I did before. So I implemented that into my morning routine. Then I go into my breathwork technique. This is maybe five, seven minutes. Breathing in, you hold, you let it go. And when you let go, you say, Ooh. and that get you to focus on a lower belly frequency to get yourself out of the flight or fight stage in fight or flight stage, fight or flight system in your body, which really helps me because needed that. Because sometimes going, going to bed in your, bed, your nightly routine, sometimes it lingers into the beginning of your day. So I do that to help get up anything out that I need to. Then I go, since it's been winter time, I go inside and I get a little comfy cozy. I do meditations for the remainder of that hour. So this isn't an hour long period. And it changes every day. Sometimes I'll stick to binaural beats, which focus on honestly different things, but it's essentially music that we listen to and it focuses on sometimes it's for like digestive sometimes it's for chakras but I do that or I'll go straight into a guided meditation and those vary as well just I personally don't follow a specific meditative 
practice or program, I guess you can say. I gotta pick on whatever intention I'm feeling I need to focus on for that day. So I start my day off like that, and then once that hour is done, I go and get prepared for my workouts or my self-care days, so my rest days. The last thing I do to protect my peace in the morning is get my workouts in, or workout, depending on if I'm doubling up for the day or if I'm just gonna do the main workout. That's how I protect my peace in the day. And then the rest of the day, I'm continuing to protect my peace. One, taking control of what I eat. Like what you eat does have an effect on how you feel, how you react, how focused and attentive you are in your day. I choose personally plant-based. That's helped me the most. More energized, my body feels better, better movements, like bowel movements, which again, that's gonna give you more energy. You're gonna feel less fatigued, less sleepy. Besides my food, getting control of that. Anytime I feel that my mind is going towards something that happened in the day that my old self is like you know girl you would have you would have went off like this would have happened my mind's going all this way i'm bringing it back into my center i'm reminding myself hey that's a temporary feeling are you gonna let a temporary feeling affect your entire day and then i'm like no no no, you're not doing that. No, no, no. That's the old you. Throw that in the basura. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go about your day. I'm constantly checking myself. Seriously, do that for you too. Check yourself. When you get into those, those thoughts, or those, even those experiences, remind yourself, okay, this is a temporary, temporary experience. This is a temporary feeling. I can A, let it, continue to affect me or I can just, okay, accept it for what it is and remind myself, hey, temporary feeling, feel it, release it, let it go, and let's move on about my day because I got bigger things to worry about than what so-and-so is feeling, what so-and-so said to me, what happened over here, what didn't happen. No, like you do not need to focus on that. You have other things more important for, for your life, for your goals, for your family, for your your friends, your tribe, your business, your craft. Remind yourself, what's more important? Are you going to let that experience affect you or what that person said or what that person didn't do completely ruin your day? Or are you just going to do this? Okay, temporary feeling, feel it, let it go, let's move on. Like, bigger and better things over there to worry about. No matter how many times someone tries to press you for an explanation, seriously, trust your gut. Like, you really do not owe, especially someone from your past, an explanation about something. If you guys have not had a conversation in five plus years, you don't talk on the daily, you're not really, con you might still be friends on social media, but if you guys are not like, you're not connecting, you don't have a relationship in any type of way, do not allow yourself to get distracted and thrown off course on where you're supposed to be going, where you are headed, because the reason why they didn't make it to your future is because they had no part in it, okay? <laughs> there you have zero part in where you are headed in your future. All right, and I know you're like, well, maybe, but they were, they're there, and they're still around me because we're in the same circle. Trust me, I understand, and that's why I continue to preach everything that I've learned and implemented, which is from the different, as you could say, mentors, people that I look up to online, their podcast, Trent Shelton, Protect Your Peace, that's something that I'm continuously like, okay, Mary, you need to do that. Protect your peace. That means protecting your energy, protecting your heart. Who are you surrounding yourself with? The environment you're in. 
if you are in those environments with those type of people that you personally do not hang out with, don't put yourself around them in those environments. I don't do that, but I also know that I am in that space and I'm gonna be nice, I'm going to be cordial, but I'm also not gonna overextend my energy into someone who was left in the past for a reason, okay? Don't feel like you owe anyone an explanation, especially from your past. I will say, I mean, technically you don't really owe anyone an explanation, but there are certain points where you should, you should give some type of an explanation, especially if it's someone that you care about a lot, you, you do talk to, you do have some type of relationship with. Yeah, there's, there's those, those points where a little bit of an explanation is called good communication skills. So. That is it 